It sucks. You have a huge advantage for being a Navy SEAL oh. and a cop. You seriously owe me a handicap. Uh, if being shanked by drug traffickers is not a handicap, oh, I don't know still. what it is. And I'm not a cop yet. What? Well, I thought you got jumped to the head of the class after helping out with that um, operation. Wasn't Bo going to make you a cop? Well, there's been some talk about fast-tracking me, but until it's official, I'm, I'm still in the academy. Must be nice having McBain take you under his wing. It never hurts to learn from the best. <sighs> or have him on your side. But he's working the stalker case. Has he let you in on the investigation at all? You know, any angles he's working or suspects? Hey, Jess, uh, can you hold on a minute? I need to talk to you about something. What? Has John talked to you at all? About the investigation? Yeah, I talked to Brody and I yesterday. About what? Well, about my run-ins with the stalker, and he took down notes on the basics, and then he said we'd have a more in-depth interview later. And did Jared's name come up at any point? No. Why? Just do me a favor, okay? Um, if you sit down with John again, don't let him bully you about Jared. Bully me? How? What's going on? Okay, well, I don't know. It's just that... John was questioning Jared and me this morning, and I got the distinct impression that he's suspicious of Jared and that he thinks that he's behind this whole mess. That's crazy, isn't it? Okay, so let me get this straight. You like Jared Banks for his own attack. I didn't say that. The guy's past is pretty shady, and there's some inconsistencies in the story that I'd like to clear up before we rule him out. No, I mean, Jared would never in a million years consider doing something so sick. I mean, my God, having you stalked and then sending those DVDs to remind us all of Nash and then having himself beat up. It's ludicrous. And if John asks, that's what I'll tell him. Forget about it. I don't want you to have to break your confidence with McVeigh. No, the truth is, until I'm sworn in, I'm out of the loop. And even then, Bo and John might decide to keep me out of this investigation. Because you're personally involved? That makes sense. Although I... Doesn't seem quite kosher to have John take the lead. Why not? So, uh, Natalie, you know, they used to be a thing. Bo's her and Jessica's uncle, so I... Right. John and Bo are the best, you know? I'd rather have them looking into this than some stranger who might miss something. It's just... Uh... John was asking Natalie a bunch of questions this morning, and I gotta be honest. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with her getting the third degree from her ex-boyfriend. Hey, uh, I'm still waiting on the re for the forensics file you asked for, but I did get a prelim. And? Uh, it was weird. They still haven't pulled any secondaries off of Banks' clothes from the night of the attack. No foreign fibers. No DNA, not even Natalie's. No, th that's weird, right? I, I mean, how is that even possible? Ross, did I not add enough zeros to that check I gave you? No, 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 it's, uh, that's a long enough number. Then what's the holdup? Get Blair out of there. I wish I could, believe me, but she's dead set on, on staying the course. I hired you to change her mind. Distract her for Pete's sake. How? Listen to me, your niece has convinced herself that she's got to wreck Todd's marriage for the sake of her children. Now, given my history with those little angels, I'm thinking meddling isn't the best idea. You've already meddled. You have been neck deep in this mess ever since you agreed to sneak back into this country with Blair. If you think that you can fly back to Tahiti without taking responsibility for whatever comes of her, you're mistaken. Whatever comes of her? Blair's happiness is officially on the line. You can nurture it, or you can end it. What's it gonna be? I'll get back to you. Simple physics, huh? Shut up! Okay. Two dad and half-naked lady. Jack. To dad and Taya. Congratulations on getting married, dad. Sam and I really like Taya because she reads us stories and says funny things in Spanish. So don't make her mad, okay? Taya, sometimes dad's a grouch, but all you have to do 
is tickle him under the armpit, and he'll be cool again. I'll try not to make you too mad, but I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. But you know, I think I could definitely keep that promise if you both take me to Body Slam Aganza. I hope you two have a long and happy marriage. Cheers. How was that? That's a bomb. Could not have said it better myself. <laughs> Nine year old man's always nice. I guess I could be nicer, yeah. Jack? Yeah, okay. Get over here. Let's go. Get over here. Yeah, what's right. up? Let's the three of us get one thing straight, okay? I love Tay. And marrying her is the right thing to do. You know that. But I still care about your mom, even though it doesn't always seem that way. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my best to make sure there's no more fighting. Yes? And everyone's happy, including your mom. Wow, I, I think you actually meant that. I did mean it. Jeez, you don't seem so surprised. I can't help it. You surprise me sometimes, Dad. <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> I'll probably screw the whole thing up anyway, but I'm going to try not to. Promise.